All right, so let's do a quick rundown of the Shopify dashboard. So as soon as you're done creating your account, the first thing you should see is this. This is the Shopify dashboard. On the left-hand side is all your different window options you can choose on your dashboard. Shopify is very simple and easy to use, so it shouldn't be too complex. Uh, by default, you should be on the home page. Now, right now, there's nothing here because we just created this store, but normally what you'll see is some basic information. It'll also give you some, like they have some here already, some helpful tips on how to set up Shopify. Um, so let's go to the next tab, orders. You most likely won't be using this tab unless you're packaging and shipping your own products. So since in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up a drop shipping store, we're not really gonna worry about this orders tab. So the next tab is products. This is where you're gonna manage all your products, your inventory, everything you sell. So once you have products in there, you can edit their prices, titles, descriptions, pictures, things like that. Customers. This is where everyone who's visited your store and everyone who's purchased anything will show up all of their information. Analytics, just a little bit more deep dive into your total sales, your online sessions, uh, return orders, all kinds of helpful things here. Marketing. So again, this is a tab that you probably won't be using because uh, to market your store, you will most likely be using apps that you've installed, but they do have a built-in marketing tab here. Discounts. This is where you're going to create any promotional codes, discount codes, automatic discounts, whatever. Uh, if you want to give discounts for your products and apps there's a lot of helpful apps for Shopify and we're actually going to be installing some helpful apps a few videos from now uh, but let's go ahead and go to the next thing this is sales channel uh, right now your only place you're selling stuff is your online store that's why it's the only option here but if you click on this little plus you can actually set up different sales channels meaning different places you can sell your products. So you can actually link your Shopify products in your store to a Facebook shop, to an Instagram shop, to Amazon, to eBay, if you have any of that, and you can manage all of it through Shopify. So right now though, all you have is the online store, and if you click on it, it'll give you all the options to edit specifically just the online store. So we'll go through that more in the next videos. And then the last one is settings. These are your basic settings and preferences for your store.